New home sales, as we told you, topped expectations. The data came out today for the month of April. Home prices soared to the second highest level since the recession began. So we thought we'd bring in the very first home builder that had the guts to go public since the crisis began. The first in nearly a decade. TriPoint Homes went public January 31st. And of course, what was interesting there was that uh, 2004, we hadn't seen we hadn't seen, Doug, an IPO of a home builder, and then here came TriPoint. What gave you the guts to do something like that during what was still very much a tentative touch-and-go time for the housing industry? Hi, Liz. Uh, you know, it, it was a touch-and-go time, but uh, we had a uh, strategic partnership that we formed with uh, Barry Sternlich and Starwood Capital in September 2010. And the market says we were winding down 2012. Uh, we were looking at, at some capital raising ideas, and one of the uh, options to us was the equity markets, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they came together quite nicely, obviously, in completing you know the first IPO of a publicly traded new home builder in 10 years, as you mentioned. Well, you're different from many home builders. You don't just pick a point on the map. You're tending to go toward areas that are not coastal because there isn't a lot of property in those areas at the moment. Plus, it's getting a little more expensive, is it not? So what makes a perfect fertile building ground for a company like TriPoint? Well, I think our business model is a very good fertile model for home building. We're building in Northern California, Southern California, and now in Denver, and we're, we're building along all the major transportation corridors, which feed all the employment growth here in California. So our model as a new home building company in this business without any legacy assets and a clear runway is, uh, is set up perfectly for the, for the growth of this business. We just showed a home in San Jose that you're building, the executive level homes, and they're, they're not entirely inexpensive, more than a million dollars a piece. Of course, in New York, we, everybody would grab this in two seconds, <laughs> but your profile as you look for, further away from those areas and more inland, places like Southern California, Irvine, Riverside, uh, tell me what you think about Colorado. Colorado is an area that was hit hard by the housing crisis. How's that doing? Colorado's doing very well. Uh, builders right now are selling anywhere from three and a half to four homes uh, per month. And we've seen pricing power of uh, up to 10% year over year. Mm -hmm. And again, the Denver market is, is uh, very strong because of the housing, uh, not, not the housing growth, but the employment growth that has fed into the housing growth over the last two years. Well, that that becomes a, an important point about whether we see a true recovery. And as you look at what you're seeing sort of nationwide, what would you avoid? What regions do you say, we're, we're not interested in going in there? <laughs> well, you know, our focus is really the southwestern region. Uh, right now we're in California, as I mentioned, right. and in Colorado. And as you look at our, our playbook for, the, for this year, you know, our company is going to grow from doing 700, uh, 350 closings this year compared to 77 last year. Nice. So we're really a growth company in California and in Colorado. Our revenues will top out at about 250 to 260 million compared to 77 million last year. So we think we're very uniquely positioned for the growth here in our core markets. What about the mortgage rates? Uh, suddenly we start to see, th what, 30-year fixed, I was just checking. Nothing too, too horrible, it's still in the threes, but then you start to look at the jumbo loans, and now we're bumping up against the 4% levels. To get the four handle, you have to do a little fancy footwork even, but are you worried about what the Fed might eventually do? You just heard Ben Bernanke and company yesterday hinting that they might slow down what has been a very friendly behavior on behalf of the Fed to the housing industry. You know, I, I, actually, my personal opinion is, is I do believe that, uh, that the Fed needs to slow down some of their bond purchases. I mean, the, the attractive interest rates have, have definitely been fueling the, uh, the housing recovery. And I think a gradual let up on, on the pedal uh, by the Fed will actually create a, a more mm -hmm. consistent uh, recovery in the housing business. If you look at interest rates today, and our average loan is about $450,000, at, at 4%, that, that mortgage is only around $2,100 a month. You compare that to rents in, in throughout California that can peak up to as high as 5000 
the ratio of, of renting to, to owning a house is very, very much in our favor. We're looking at the other home builder IPOs that came after you, Taylor Morrison, William Lyon as well. Uh, your stock is down about 5.7% since uh, you went public. However, your most recent quarter, you swung to a profit. We're watching Barry Stern looks a very smart guy. You are too, Doug. Good to see you, and we'll follow this story very closely. Thank you for joining us on Fox Business. Thanks, Liz. Doug Bauer, TriPoint Homes CEO.